Good evening everybody and welcome to Creatrix YouTube channel my dear friends we are here with another video in the virtual calculator series so in this session i am going to explain to you all of you about the memory function inbuilt in the gate virtual calculator so without wasting any time let's get started let me start by first introducing myself my name is ankit goel i got air1 twice in gate in 2014 and 2018 I was awarded President of India Gold Medal in the year 2013 when I graduated from IIT Indore. Till date, I have trained more than one lakh student in the online and the offline classes, and I am currently working as a director at an academy for gate department. Now, my dear friends, the only thing that you should look forward to, that you should be proud about, is that this channel has the top educators of this country. and this channel is continuously providing you the best quality education free of cost but remember the free education initiative is not only restricted to youtube but it is also available on the unacademy free platform so without any hesitation download the unacademy app right now and unlock all the free initiatives there Just okay so guys today what we will be discussing are these functions at the top of the calculator mc mr ms m plus m minus what is mc mc is clearing the memory register value whatever data has been stored in the memory earlier if you need to clear it you will use the mc function mr that is the recall the current memory register value whatever data is there in the memory if i want to recall it if i want to reuse it i will use the mr function ms that is store the number of display into memory whatever number is being displayed in this box whatever number is being displayed in this box that can be stored into the memory m plus whatever is the current data that will be added into the memory register m minus whatever is the current data the that will be subtracted from the memory suppose memory contains a number 10 and the current data is 5 if you press m plus the data stored in the memory becomes 15 if you press m minus it becomes 10 minus 5 equal to 5 so that way you can modify the value stored in the memory either by adding the current value or by subtracting the current value but remember before you start any memory operation you need to clear the memory so that there is no absurd value in your result let's see how to use it suppose i want to calculate this value okay this value is quite long let us see how will i do it first of all i'll clear the memory mc 6.32 i will raise it to the power 4 okay whatever is the data i will press the ms key it will store the data in the memory see a m appears on the top of mod which means there is certain data in the memory what is the next number 1.91 square i will clear it don't press mc memory will be cleared only c 1.91 square i will add it to the data stored in the memory by pressing m plus next number 5.87 to the power 6 5.87 x to the power y 6 okay equal to i will add it to the data in the memory m plus 1.37 square 1.37 square i'll press equal to i'll press m plus now the entire number at the entire sum has been stored in the memory i will have to recall it i will press mr this is the data stored in the memory now you need to take a cube root if you see here you need to take a cube root so let's take the cube root like this 34.9 so this will give us the answer so guys this can be really really helpful when you want to calculate the rms value of a four year series because in that case you have a lot of squares to be added and then you have to take the square root similarly let's try the next one 66 by 4 i'll clear i'll clear the memory 66 by 4 i'll calculate it store then 
एट बाय थर्टी वन एट बाय थर्टी वन आई एड इट इन टू द मेमरी फाइव बाय थर्टीन प्रेस इक्वल टू एम प्लस नाइन बाय ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रेस इक्वल टू देन एम प्लस एटी थ्री बाय इलेवन प्रेस इक्वल टू देन एम प्लस नाउ द एंटायर डेटा हैज बीन स्टोर्ड इन द मेमरी आई नीड टू रिकॉल इट and then take the square root so i'll press mr and then i'll press the square root 5.007 see how easy these calculations become if we use the memory function now let's use multiple functions sin 43 plus sec 53 by cos 80 plus sin 37 this is actually quite simple what i'll do i'll clear I'll press 43, sign 43. Okay, plus sec 53. Actually, let me clear it first. I'll do one minute. First, I'll do one by 53 cos. Sec 53 is one by cos 53, 1.601 plus sign 53, 53 sign 0.7986. Okay, you will press equal to. Divide it. Now form a bracket. You need cos 80 plus sine 37. Cos 80 plus sine 37. Close the bracket. Even without memory function, we have calculated 3.172 by the use of bracket. Okay. Similarly, let's try this. I won't be using memory function. I'll be using the Bracket part two log six by five. Let me write six by five. I'll take log into two. Then into eight log three. Into three log into eight into four cube into pi. Into four cube into pi. This is the value of the numerator one twenty one point five three four eight. This is the numerator, guys. Now what I will do is I will divide it. I'll use a bracket now. Sine twenty three twenty three then sine six root three into three root into six. Into six. Okay. Then eight cap minus two. Eight cap minus two is basically into one. Into one by eight cap two. Okay. Now I will close the bracket. I'll press equal to one nine one five point five three nine. One nine one five point five three nine. So that is you can do a lot of stuff by the use of brackets also and a bit of common sense like eight to the power minus two. I input it as one by eight to the power two. So guys that way your calculation becomes really really easy by the use of virtual calculator if you make right use of the bracket and the memory function